Floss Tube and welcome to my channel Rose Red Diamonds and Crafts. My name is Angelica and this is my channel where I do where I diamond paint and I do other crafts. Um, I also talk a little bit of gaming um, when that is uh, when I spend a lot of time on that. Um, I don't have any gaming talk in this video today. We're just gonna um, we're just gonna talk cross stitch maybe a little bit of diamond painting. Um, uh, so I do not do, I would love to be the type of person who could, can do, um, weekly videos, but I just do not have the time. Um, and I like, so I do end of the month wrap ups, um, where I show what I've done all month and then we talk plans for the future. Um, I have a four year old. He is in the room. So if you hear something in the background, that is just him. Um, he is being quiet right now. So hopefully I could get through this video without him um, getting too hyper. Um, so it is August 30th. And um, although there's still one more day in the month, uh, it is a three day weekend for my husband. So I need to get this video out um, recorded today, otherwise I, um, I could end up being really late putting it out next week. Um, so I think that's everything that I need to say intro wise. Um, so this month um, it has been all about Dashgo, uh, which is a event going on right now with fandom. Um, it is similar to Whipgo, which more people are aware of, um, but Dashgo is a 6x6 six six board, um, and they're only calling 23 numbers. They're calling 23 numbers of the 6x6. Six six. Um, they're going to call out 23 numbers. Um, they're going to, they make a one call every two days. And then you have to um, work on the project you have in that square. And then you get points based off of how many stitches you could get done. Now I was all into it at the, be at the beginning. We are um, on call 18 of 23 right now. And I could tell you this, like spoiler warning, I didn't do today's call or yesterday's call at all. Um, and I'm not going to. Um, I'm just, I'm skipping it because I am already getting burnt out from this game. Um, it, we're on 18 of 23, so it's almost over and that square is not going to get me a bingo. So I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I've got other things that I want to do. So, but, um, so when I last fit on my last video, um, I had shown, I was, I was late on I was late for my last check-in um, by over a month. So I already showed what I had worked on for the first week of August, but I'm gonna show you again because um, continuity, because I wanna show you everything that I did for August. So, um, so there's been four pieces that haven't changed since the last time I showed you. So I'm gonna show you those four first um, and then I'll, and then everything else has had progress. Um, so I worked on 12 whips in August, 12 whips I put in, or I got one new start and, um, I put in 19,355 stitches this month. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I'll just have to say it if I remember. All right, so um, let's just get started because it's taking me over three hours to get this video started and um, now I'm running out of time. So we're doing these a little out of order from what I have written down. So, cause I was gonna show you the first four, the first, sorry, the first four I'm going to show you, like I said, um, haven't been touched since the last time I showed you. But if you are new to my channel, you haven't seen them yet. 
So the first thing I'm going to show you is Treasure. This is um, from Thread Geeks. Uh, it's an Enos Guerrero. And here is what squeaky chair. Here's where I am. Um, like I like I said, I haven't touched it. But in the month of August, I put in. Sorry, got to pull my note closer to me. In August, it only got 257 tenth stitches. That means most of the time I spent on that was in July. For Dashko, at least. Okay. That over there. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is... This is Princess Belle. It is also um, from Thread Geek, the Thread Geeks. Um, Treasures is a. Uh, it is two over one tent on twenty five count, as is uh, this one, um, Princess Belle. It's also it's two over one tent on twenty five count. So, in August, I put in 2,408 tent stitches. And if I say backstitch on accident, like I did in the last video, I mean tent. Okay. I'm just going to get through these ones real quick because it's not new progress. Okay. Next is the Witcher. Also from Thread Geeks, my lovely bottom start. Um, this one got 877 tent, two over one on two over one tent on 25. Um, all my 25 counts uh, are going to be two over one tent. Uh, when it comes to process versus product, when it comes to my full coverages, I want product. Um, so those are all going to be tent. Okay. Then we have um, Dark Fairy Tale. This is by Chrisabug. I was really bummed that I that it hasn't gotten called again. It's only been called once. Um, it's only gotten one call. I'm hoping it'll get called one at least one more time. Um, I will definitely work on it if it gets called. Uh, otherwise, I'm probably well. I don't want to say for sure because it's. I want this done. I love this one so much. So I want to put some more progress in it. So this is where we're at. Um, dark fairy tale. Uh, I've only put in 659 tent. I almost said back. Tent stitches. Again, this is two or one tent on 25 count. This image, or this one, this dark fairy tale, um, this is an image that I fell in love with and I was really hoping that they would um, make a diamond painting for it, which um, it would go with, you know, with, uh, it's it's the same artist that does this Medusa and also the one that has this Persephone that's up here. Um, same artist. Um, I love her. So, um, but it... It hasn't become a diamond painting yet and it was in voting but it could voting doesn't really mean anything so uh, at least I could get it started now um, and then the last well no no those that was it for those are the only ones okay those are the four that haven't been touched since since the last time you saw it um, the last time I showed you this one, this is Golden Eye Dragonling, Dragonling Mini from Hade. 
Um, the last time I showed you this, I was in the middle working on it. Um, it was uh, the middle of a call of the call time. And then I think it got called again, actually, now that I think of it. Um, so I had just started it when I showed it to you last. So this is where we're at. And this one I put in 3,416 tent stitches. Um, most of these, most, all but two of these, I only have the 310 for. I still have to purchase the, the rest of the colors for them or the rest of the floss. Um, or borrow it from a different project. And then this is the last project I'm going to show you that's all black. That's <laughs> just 310. Um, so this was a new start, so you haven't seen this yet. But it is also um, a th from Thread Geeks. It is not folded in a way I can show you easily. Okay, so this one I did as a center start. So I'm trying to get it situated. Oh, that's so ugly. Um, this is Alice by Bill Bell and Thread Geeks. So this is a center start. Um, and uh, this is a caterpillar and then the start of the tree so I put in 1430 tent two over one tents on 25 count my idea is that most of these have so much 310 in them that uh, I it will give me time to be able to get the floss for it, um, but while also not wasting time by not working on it at all. So it's like getting a head start on it before I get the rest of the floss. But I have plenty of 310. Um, I am, I've got so much 310 and I have a brand new cone also that I've never used before. So I am good on 310. Um, so I just really need more fabric. Um, all right. So that's it for the 310 family. Now we could get into some color. So the next thing I'm going to show you is my Hade Sal, which is, I'm doing Murray Mushroom 2. <clears throat> I don't remember exactly how much, where I was when I showed you last. I know that I showed you this corner over here, but I don't remember if it was done yet, but it is officially done. I have officially done all of the top four pages. Um, so I, yeah, I've done all of the top four pages and then I brought, dipped it, dipped it in and the, yeah, I dipped here while I was working on this page and now I'm focusing over here because um, because this doesn't count as the fourth page even though it is page four it's not a full page it was like a half page or not it wasn't a half page it was like a three quarters of a page so it doesn't count for the um, the end of the year reward so I have to finish um, I don't know how long this page is, but I have to finish this page and then I'll get, I'll be rewarded um, the other free patterns from the cell. And then also if I finish the entire thing before the year's over, I could pick any two patterns I want from Hayes website. Can I finish this before the year's over? Yes. If I hyper-focused on this, I could definitely get this done before the year's over. Am I going to? Absolutely not. There's no way I'm going to be able to sit and do just this for the rest of the year. 
um, or even for a full week, full month. Um, I did the math of last week. Oh, I didn't even tell you. Um, sorry, I got sidetracked. Um, Mary Mushroom, I put in 5,940 back stitches in August. So, there is, I don't remember the exact number. I know there's less than 30,000 stitches left in this. Um, so, knowing how I stitch, I could definitely finish this in one month. But I don't want to. So, I might try to like go for a page fin I'm probably gonna this is probably gonna be um, one of my September goals to get that page finished and then um, and then maybe again in November spend some time on another page finish just so that there's less to do for next year for 2025 so then it could be a 2025 finish all right next is Next, I have Lost Soul. Again, I'm not 100% sure where I sh where this was the last time I showed you. Um, so, I am... Oh, no. It dips slower. Okay, so this is where I'm at. Um... Lost Soul is uh, 1,059 full cross. This is the first, this is my first Hade. This is my first Hade and um, so I decided to do it full cross. It's going to take me forever. Um, however, it's only a uh, story keep so it's only three pages long right three three or four pages long um so uh i would have loved to be able to finish the full top pages before the year's over but that's not going to happen um so maybe that'll be my goal for 2025 is to finish the top row but, um, I didn't feel like it was getting much progress. And then I took a step back and realized, like, in comparison to the actual picture of what this is. So, I'm actually really excited. That's, that's a lot of work. I do want to get to the moon. I'm afraid, I, I really want to get to the moon, but I also think that the moon is going to be, like, really confetti heavy next up I is Pokemon this has been called all three times it is the current call so I could put a hundred stitches in today and then and be done but I don't want to um, Pokemon 626 stitches so this is where I'm at and this is the area that I've been working on um, yeah like in here somewhere some some of this 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 star was already mostly here but this I know this orange I put in so most of this right here um, so, yeah, 626 stitches in August. Um, like I said, I could put it in another 100 and I'll get the call, but I don't need to. Um, and I have something else that I want to spend my time on. Boop. Next is... Next is Aurora Cabin. This is a Dimensions kit that I got for Christmas from my teen. 
right after I started cross stitching. Like I hadn't even been cross stitching for a full month when he got it for me. So, um, it was one of the first things I, one of the first things I started. So I didn't know any better. So it was, but I, I'm done all right. But the problem, my problem with this is it's a paper chart and I didn't know. I, I just started taking a highlighter to the paper chart and now it's, it's a mess. Um, I didn't know that I should have photocopied it or taken a picture and, you know, made a working copy, right? I'm just working off of the actual pattern itself and I'm worried. So part of me wants to hurry up and get this finished. And, um, but also I don't like working on a paper chart. So anyways, uh, Roar, I put in 2,050 tent stitches. Oh, oh, okay. So where I worked is, let me do this. Okay. Where I worked is, um, it's, it's this blue and purple like sky. That's, that's all this. Not this top purple, but this bottom bur purple. I don't know if you can see that. There's this purple that's in here, and then all the dark blue that's inside. So, um, there's not a lot of sky. There, I stopped because I ran out of thread, and it wasn't enough blue left to re to pull out a whole another skein. Because these, um, this, all this sky takes six full strands. And, um, that was the other thing is I'm, I didn't know how to, you, uh, utilize, or what's the best way, the best way to, um, utilize the floss or whatever. So I'm afraid what if I, I was, uh, what if I don't have enough floss at the end? Um, because I didn't know how to, to stitch properly. <sighs> So, I'm just looking at the back, like, this is the back that I just did, this, all this blue and purple in here, and this is what it looked like when I started. All that wasted floss at the beginning, so I'm afraid that I might, what if I run out? Um, it would be nice to not, not, I mean, it's always nice to get a finish, but I think, um, I might set a goal to get this to a certain percentage next year. All right. So that was everything for Dashgo. Well, like I said, I started getting burnt out on that event this last week. Um, I made it most of the time, but this last week I really started dragging my feet and not putting as much time or stitches in each thing um uh like the pokemon like I, only putting 626 stitches on it getting called twice that's four days four days i only put in 600 that's that's not a lot so um i just wanted a break so i thought okay well, what if I pull out something and work on border? I talked about this last time. Um, if I don't know, if there's not any specific whip that's calling to me, then I would pull out one of my kits that ha has border. Those, just those long, annoying stretches or lines, right? That are, that are monotonous. So, um, I thought when I thought that I was going to pull out my modern folk embroidery, um, I had intended on pulling that out, but when I started digging through, um, my whip tote, um, I pulled, ended up pulling out my nostalgic tarot. Um, this is a whip that I started earlier this year, but it required a lot of counting. Um, and it's not on a gridded fabric like all those full coverages so 
um, the counting got a little um, stressful. So I ended up putting it down for a very long time. Um, yeah, so Nostalgic Tarot by The Witchy Stitcher. I'm doing this on 18 count on, um, on fabric I dyed myself. So here's where I'm at. So I did, so last time I had this center rainbow part and then I had done, I had done this top row right here and then I had started doing this one and then I got caught, I got bored or whatever so I finished this up and then I went over to the other side and I did across the way and then I even started to dip into the rainbows because because I use a little eight by eight frame so it only shows these three lines so I figured I would finish the rainbow down and then I would work my way across and get all the rainbows down I don't know um I don't have any plans to pick this up again for a while unless it yells at me to pick it up. Um, I'm just not in a hurry, I think because not all of the patterns are out yet. Um, I do have all of them so far to the best of my knowledge because I did, I did cancel, I, I wasn't on Patreon for a month and a half so unless a pattern snuck by during that time that I wasn't aware of I don't think so because I jumped back on this month to make sure that I got this month's release and I'm pretty sure the only pattern patreon pattern I missed out on was that vamp vampire the cat vampire one I'm pretty sure that's the only one I missed out on and I mean and that's not a tarot all right, so the last whip that I worked on this month, sorry, and the last whip I worked on this month, I am currently working on, and I'm gunning for a finish. And that is Spring's Promise by Miss Late Pages. Um... So the last time I showed this, the last time I showed this, um, I had these three borders done and I had the flowers in place. I didn't have any detail on the flowers yet. Um, so I started the, I started putting the details on it. Um, and I didn't have this part right here. Uh, so yeah, I just had these three lines and the start of the flowers, just the pink part. So all I had to do was do the two light green and dark green. I just had to do the two color, um, rows right here and then put in all the details on the flower. However, oh, I guess I should say I put in 664 stitches. This is two over two on... 36 count I think it's 32 or 36 count I don't remember um I don't remember it's not next to me um so anyways that's all I, so so I started with this light green um my pattern I don't know if it's on everybody's but my pattern is cut off right here on both ac across my pattern's cut off so I verified with Miss Lay Pages that if I flip my pattern upside down, it's just mirrored. This this top the they're mirrored, the flowers are. So I did that, I flipped it over, and um, I used the pattern to get this going, right? But then I didn't flip it back over and I just continued this pattern like this. And I don't know if you could tell. But this um, triangle right here, this little dip wave, is different from this little dip wave. 
So I made it all the way across. And I didn't realize this at first. I'm just telling you that's 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 early information. But um, I went all the way over here, and this was not lining up with this. And before I before realizing about this error, I realized that I had a similar situation over here where I did not do this area correctly. This area, I didn't do that correctly. So this was all wrong, and I had to frog all this, all, all this green. I had to frog all that, frog the flower, the pink, it was just the pink at the time, frog, frog this flower. Then I fixed it, and then, oh no, what, what, sorry, I, I, I was trying to remember, because this was a couple days ago. Um, so I got down here, and I realized it still wasn't connecting properly. And I thought, am I going to have to rip this out again? Did, where did I mess up? And that's when I realized the error with this. So I ended up having to rip all this out. It's all fine now. Everything's good. Everything's good now. Now, all I have to do is finish this, make this dark green border that's on the inside for some reason. The pattern looks, like, if you, if you look at the image, the artwork, it looks good like that. But my brain keeps telling me that the green, dark green is supposed to be on the outside. So, but I'm going to do it on the inside like it says. So I'm going to do this dark green swirlies. And then I'm going to finish putting all the details on the flowers. And then I'm done. I don't know how many stitches I have left because I, like I, the last time I showed this, I didn't, I didn't count. So I don't know how much I have left. But I probably only have a day's worth. Because... Because, um, because all of this that I worked on, that, that took up two days. So I think now that that's all figured out, and now I just have the one row and then some details, I think I could get this done tonight. So that's my goal, is to finish this. Um, that's all my whips. It's all, or a moment cross stitch. Um, diamond painting. Um, so this is what I started in August for my mythological August because that's just how I see August. Just like in December, you might think Christmas and November, you might think Thanksgiving. It's just the mood for me. The mood in August is mythological August. So I started her. I did not spend as much time on her as I would have liked. So I am going to push to get this finished as soon as possible. Um, in fact, I'm probably going to spend this week after finishing, after finish, after I finish Spring's Promise, I'm probably going to make this my focus this weekend when I'm not on the game with my husband. So, um, and it might even, I might even push for, I, I want to get this done as soon as possible because in September starts, okay, so September 1st, which is Sunday, it's also my son's birthday, um, he'll be four, um, on September 1st is the beginning of the, normally it would be drills and chills. That's Drills and Chills starts on September 1st. I am not doing Drills and Chills this year for a few reasons. Um, so I am not participating in Drills and Chills. Um, that is the first event I ever got into um, in the crafting community. It was diamond paint. So I started off in the diamond painting community and then I slowly moved over to the cross stitching um, community. Um, but... I do usually go back to drills and chills in September and I'm just not going to do it this year because um, I love the hosts. I love the hosts. I love the idea. I love the hosts. But when the first year that I participated, it was more like a Halloween party. And now it feels more like an ad. Um, they most, I feel like most of the videos are, oh, 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 they, 
the creators will make a video. Um, usually, it's like um, they're focusing on certain Etsy shops for um, diamond painting accessories. Totally fine. I love I I love it, but I don't have money. I don't have money to spend, so it feels like I'm watching these commercials for these really cool accessories or really pretty accessories that I can't afford. I can't afford it, so I don't want to watch it. I'm not interested. And then at the end of the videos, or d sometime during the video, they give you a code word and they say, um, you know, to leave the code word in the comments, and that's how you get drawn for the prizes. But they do that in any video that's 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 how a lot of videos are um you know any any given person does that um it, it doesn't make it feel special to me um it so i mean maybe they'll update it this year i doubt it i think they found a system that works for them um and they get a lot of they've got a lot of um people that participate the first year I played, it was more interactive. It was like I said, it was like a Halloween party. Um, you had to go on Instagram and post this, and um, it, it was just it was more interactive. It was more fun, and it's not the same. It doesn't feel the same anymore. So I'm just not going to participate in that for that reason. Also, um, also the Halloween painting diamond painting that I intend on doing this year is um and I and I can't do it unless I finish this because I do not have I already have this is holding my flower delivery oops sorry this is holding flower delivery which is um that Kiki's delivery service one that I started this summer spring summer whenever it was I started it um, so I have, I officially am not a monogamous, monogamous diamond painter. I've always been a monogamous diamond painter. Um, I am officially not, but I only have the drill storage for two diamond paintings. So one of them has to give, and obviously it's going to be this one. So uh, this one has to be finished and kit down before I could use the containers to kit up another one. And then, and the one that I want to do this year, now I wanted to do, um, my Chuck Pinson in September, and then I wanted to do my Christopher Lavelle in October. That's not going to happen. I am not, I am diamond painting way too slow this year to be able to, to pull off two diamond paintings for the holiday season. So, the autonomous holiday season. So, um, I'm not going to do my Chuck Pinson this year, um, but I do want to do my Chris Lavelle, and that is, uh, a mystery diamond painting and mystery diamond paintings aren't allowed on the drills and chills um event which understandable i'm not i'm not complaining but that's the one i want to do i already know what it is that's why i want to do it um so so that'll be my plan to after this one's done and because i'm so slow i want to get this done and then get that other one kit up and started as soon as possible. So hopefully it's done way before Halloween. Fingers crossed. So that's my plans for diamond painting. I didn't mean to get into all of that. Um, also, I'm always thinking about the future plans. Um, so... I feel, um, I can't think of the word right now because I, this has popped in my head. I, I've already had this thought, but I can't, I still can't think of the word, but, um, validated maybe, um, I'm already planning for 2025. Um, and a lot of creators have already been sharing their, plans for 2025 so yeah so um taking inspiration from jen the caffeinated crafter um so i just started following her this year backtrack a little bit i started following her this year and i didn't really understand what all her goals meant they're all sounded gibberishy to me 
but I slowly started understanding. And then when she was explaining, she made a video just for her 2025 plans and I understand them. And taking inspiration off of that, I've been trying to think how I want to incorporate that in for me. And I'm thinking that for 2025, I'm going to shoot a goal for 15,000 stitches a month. Now, obviously, on a good month, I could go more than that. I did more than that this month. Um, but that's just a nice number that because sometimes on a bad stitchy month I could barely get 10,000 stitches in so I think 15,000 is a good number for me so I'm gonna start with that and then at the end of the year I think I'll start breaking down my whips and deciding what I want to be focus pieces and what pieces are like um process yeah process I've got some whips that are more process stitching and other whips I want as products. So the ones that I want products, I'm probably going to be focus pieces or, or I'll break them up into focus pieces and yeah, maybe I'll have focus. I'm, I'm, I'm coming up with this as I'm speaking actually now, um, or more of it. Hopefully you're following my train of thought. I'm not going to get too much into it right now, but I'm already thinking about 2025, how I want that to work. But I do know I'm not doing whip go. I'm going to do a version of it for myself. I need more control over what I'm doing. So I'm not going to do whip go because I've always struggled with trying to figure out how to make whip go work for me. And, um, and yeah, I just need more control over it. So I will figure out something for myself along the lines of whip go, but not exactly. Also, I am not doing fandom next year. No, not doing fandom. I need more control over what I'm doing. I want to stitch what I want when I want. And I don't mean just like on every day. I, I like having a, a plan, but not, I feel like, like, I, I spend more energy trying to fulfill their events and games and prompts than stitching on what I want to stitch on. So I just, I'm, I'm dropping fandom. The only reasons, there's two reasons why I could change my mind. One, I get waves of competitiveness. I get waves of competitiveness and there are times where I just gung-ho and I want all the points. So they had just on, so they, somebody in my group asked about the spreadsheet, the points so far. And since they posted it, I was like, well, let me just go look at it. And upon looking at it, I realized I got the most points for March Madness. And the most points for the July finishes. And part of me is happy. Yay, I won. But also, like, comparing... It wasn't, like, a small win. It was an overwhelming amount of win. And then that makes me feel like, well, if I'm the only one trying to get points for our team, then do I really care? Um, and I know that they're, the points don't matter. The points don't matter. They're, they're just. So for my sanity, I don't want to do fandom next year. I want, want more control over what I stitch on. The only other exception is that Doctor Who is in the running for next year's theme. Um, I started last year, uh, I, st I joined fandom at the end of their Star Wars year, and but I didn't start Star Wars, um, and then uh, I started when the Lord of the Rings started. So I did the whole year of Lord of the Rings, and then this year is all Disney. Next year, Doctor Who is in the running. I don't think he's going to win. I'm pretty sure Supernatural is going to win, and I nothing against Supernatural. I'm, I'm actually in the mood to do a rewatch of Supernatural, even though I prefer the earlier seasons 
to the later seasons, but um, I don't love Supernatural enough to want to stress over fandom for another year. <clears throat> so, there's that. Um, the only other thing, the only other thing I wanted to talk about before, before I wrap it up. Sorry. Is, um, stitching for my family. Um, earlier this year, uh, I think it was, um, the... I think it was the, the, I can't think of what it is. Earlier this year, um, a pattern came out. I seen it and I instantly thought of my mom. Okay. This one right here. I bought it. I'm going to stitch this for my mom. It's all fuzzy. Uh, okay. Um, I haven't kitted up. I, I, I bought it. It came in the mail and then I put it aside because I want to really think about how I want to, do I want, I'm not going to buy color and cotton. This is charted in, is it color? It is charted in color works, classic color works. Charted with classic color works and DMC I'm not gonna buy that so I know I'm go so do I want to buy specialty floss or do I want to convert it all to DMC like do I want to do it exactly how it is do I want to change the colors I really want to put some time and thought into it okay so there's that that's that's been in the background for a while but now I'm thinking I'm it might be a 2025 goal, right? Also, this is tech, tech, uh, so a year and a half, two years ago, um, I was talking diamond paintings with one of my sisters and um, she loves elephants, um, but there was no good elephant diamond paintings. And I promised her that I would keep an eye out for a nice elephant diamond painting. And maybe she would actually want a diamond paint. I've given her family diamond paintings and she just doesn't have the patience to do it. Um, so Heaven and Earth Designs <laughs> had um had this elephant, this gorgeous elephant release, and I seen it. I immediately thought of her and I sent her a picture. No context. Um then she had the response I expected and was like, done, I'm buying it. Then I followed up and told her, okay, here's the thing. I bought you the pattern. It happened to be a sale during the time. So I was able to get it for half off, right? They, they do their sales pretty regularly or pretty often. So I bought the pattern for under 10 bucks, but I told her, okay, I'm, I bought you this. I'm going to cross stitch it for you. But it may take me a while before I could buy the supplies to do it. And then it is going to definitely take me several years to actually stitch it. And she said, you know, no problem. Maybe she would even help with buying the supplies. I didn't follow up with her on that. I just like, I don't want her to worry about it because what if I never even finish it? Because it's so huge. But it's in the plans. It's in the plans. Um, now I need to buy that before I could buy the floss for those other kits that I've already started. So, um, so yeah, I intend on purchasing that. Now, the way my brain works is I have a kit that I, or a kit, it's not a kit. I have a pattern, a chart that I'm going to make for my mom. I have a chart that I'm going to make for one of my sisters. What about my other two sisters? Are they going to feel left out that I'm not making them something? So now I'm trying to find something. Not a full coverage hate or anything like that. 
but something more equivalent to the one that I'm making for my mom size wise. So I was looking through, I was, I was thinking maybe they want something from Shannon Christine or that's her name, right? Or other people like that. Um, so I was just, now I'm trying to decide what to make for my other two sisters. And then all as I'm doing that, I'm thinking, well, that elephant is going to take forever if I even finish it. What if I do another one for my sister that so that all three of my sisters could get something at the same time? And I really need to calm down. <laughs> I, I, I am putting way too much on my I, I, I think I'm overthinking it, but I just wanted to share that that st stitching spiral that I was going through this past weekend. So just for those that wanted to stick around all the way to the end, I thought I would share my, my th thought process on that. Um, and I don't think my sisters or mom watch my videos. Um, but so I'm not, I'm not concerned about that. <clears throat> Um, and even if they do, they, they can know that. They, they can know. It's not a secret. And the only reason why it would be a secret is if... Is... Actually, I don't know. I don't know why it would be a secret. It's not a secret. Oh, the only way it would be a secret is then I feel like I'm, I gotta hurry up and finish it. Right? But if I do do it, if I do stitch them these patterns... Um then uh, I want to make sure that they're fully finished when I give it to them. So they're framed and whatever, that they're all nice and pretty and ready to, to decorate with. And I don't want to give them just a piece of fabric. So, all right, that's, that's everything. That's, that's everything. Um, This did not go as smoothly as my last video. I was so happy when I went to go edit my last video and realized I didn't have to cut anything from start to finish. It was smooth. I've never had such a perfect video before. This one, not so smooth. <laughs> this one is very not so smooth. Um, but I got everything across that I wanted to say. And if not, then I guess I will just make notes for next month and um, so until then and until then i'll see you guys at the end of next month bye